Now, former NTV news anchor Farida Nakazwe is back in the news. And the Speaker of Parliament of Uganda, Right Horrible Anita Monk, and other top government officials have been sanctioned by United Kingdom. Sungura House here, located along Bukoto Chisasi Road, is the best rabbit meat restaurant that I have come across in the country. Don't forget, we are also found on Glovo and we also do normal delivery. So please hit us up on these numbers and we will be, be more than glad to serve you. My name is Duke, team leader here at Sungura. See you soon. My name is uh, Melads Milo, aka Fula, and uh, this is uh, the Buzz UG. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok, I'm Melads Milo, aka Fula. Now, you remember one and a half months ago, the media was filled with uh, reports indicating that Farida Nakazwe had relocated to Canada. Other reports suggested that she had gone to give birth, and uh, this has turned out to be true. Well, Farida Nakazwe has confirmed putting to bed a baby boy. Wow! And this boy has been named Baby Maktum. A big section of Ugandans have commended her for keeping her pregnancy very private for all this while. However, other Ugandans want to know who the father of the baby is. Well, I think that is none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> the father of the baby is none of your business. Anyways, uh, from us right here on the Buzz UG, we want to say hearty congratulations to you, Farida Nakazwe. <laughs> Away from that, the Speaker of Parliament of Uganda, Right Honorable Anita Monk, has been sanctioned by United Kingdom. This has been announced by Andrew Michel, United Kingdom's Deputy Foreign Secretary. Other government officials sanctioned include former ministers, Honorable Mary Goretti Chitutu and Honorable Agnes Nandutu. Of course, I know you must be asking yourself why these have been sanctioned. Well, according to Andrew Michel, UK's Deputy Foreign Secretary, he said that uh, these have been sanctioned because of corruption. Uh, specifically, they were involved in the stealing of iron sheets that were meant to benefit the vulnerable communities in northern Uganda. And uh, they are not allowed to step a foot in the UK, and if they have assets that side, they have been frozen. Now, some people think that uh, Anita Monk has been sanctioned because of her stand on the anti-homosexuality law that was passed in the Parliament of Uganda. Yes, you remember Anita Monk has been very vocal on this matter and uh, some people think she's been sanctioned because of that particular issue. Now, the anti-homosexuality law was not the initiative of the speaker but an overwhelming demand of the Ugandan citizens who believe that Ugandans have a right to preserve and promote their own sexual or marriage culture and norms. Uganda is no longer a British protectorate to wait for orders from Buckingham Palace. Well, it should be remembered that um, some time back, the Speaker of Parliament said that she doesn't care even if she's denied entry into these foreign countries as long as she has a visa to her home district. You deny us visas? For me, I only want uh, a visa for Bukedia. Bukedia and Buyende. Meanwhile, NUP President, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyu Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, through his official social media handles, has welcomed these sanctions imposed on the Speaker of Parliament, uh, Horrible Mary Goretti Jitutu and Horrible Agnes Nandutu. Now, the question is what is your take on these sanctions imposed on these government officials? Is it a good idea or bad idea? The comment section is uh, very open for you if you have anything you want to say about these stories. My name is uh, Melads Milo, aka Fula, and uh, this is uh, the Buzz UG. 
subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Melads Milo, aka Fula. Bye for now. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Anita, manager Palm Hotel. We are located opposite Mukwano Mall along Rashid Kamis Road. You can get to us through the numbers on the screen. We have very affordable accommodation, free internet, DSTV and more other offers. You can follow us on all our social media platforms. We are Palm Hotel.